You may not realize it, but you already have items around your house that can help you get through a winter bomb cyclone. Lifestyle expert Erica Katz starts with cooking spray. Here's what we're going to do with our cooking spray. We're going to spray it all over our shovel before we shovel the snow, and this is going to keep the snow from sticking to the shovel. Got an icy spot? You can make your own ice melt that works like salt. You're shoveling outside, you discover a layer of ice. Is there any way to fight that? So there are two things that everybody has in their house, dish soap and rubbing alcohol. You're going to take a teaspoon of dish soap and a tablespoon of rubbing alcohol, pour right, it in a large in bucket. bucket. All right, get some hot water then here. Then put about a gallon of hot water in there. So now we're going to take our mixture and pour it over your icy surface. All right, here goes nothing. Look at that. Woo! No more ice. Look at that. If you have a car like this one that's been sitting here and you need to get out, dig a little space by the tire. And then you want to put some kitty litter down because this is going to create traction and then you'll be able to pull the car right out. You can even make your own hand warmers. Erica, what the heck are we doing with a sock and rice? So to stay warm in the winter, you're going to make hand warmers, neck warmers, anything you want. You're going to take the rice, put it in a cotton sock, okay. put it in the microwave for about a minute. Okay. And then... So here we go. We've got rice in a sock. Woo, this thing is warm. It's great, yeah. isn't it? You can put it in your boots, right. in your jacket, around your neck as a neck warmer, sure. and this is gonna keep you nice and toasty yeah. in those winter months. You could pop it, if you have to walk to work, you could pop it in your jacket as a warmer. Oh, it's great. Perfect. And here's a way to make sure your windshield is clean. So before the snow starts, you wanna put a tarp over your windshield. That way it's gonna protect your windshield from snow, ice, and anything else that comes. And for shoveling, the shovel right back. shovel can make a big difference. A we went to Lexington Hardware in New York City. What's the best one? So this is actually called our back saver shovel. It has a little bend in the handle and an easy grip, so you're not bending down so much. You can really stand up, and it's a lot easier for oh, you yeah. to shovel. Yeah, look, you can kind of be upright and shovel that way. Yep, a lot easier.